Hey guys, it's your good old buddy KB Giants fan here with some more Demon Souls facts. <laughs> I don't know if this is truly facts, but this is three NPC characters that I figured I should go over at this point in the game. So here we go. What we want to do is head towards Stone Fang Tunnel, and we're going to want to go meet up with Blacksmith Ed. Now, keep in mind this guy's location. I went over it before, but really, really keep in mind where he's at because there are certain weapons that only he can upgrade. And what we're going to do is go down here and make a new bow and a new sword. And also bear in mind, after we defeat a certain demon, we'll be able to give him that demon's soul, and from there we can create even more powerful weapons. So... As I've said before, Blacksmith Ed is extremely important. You don't want to screw up and damn it, this guy, aggravate him, kill him at all. We're going to need him. So, what I'm going to do first of all here, this is not necessarily recommended me by me, but I like this bow. The. No, I'm just kind of showing you the items it'll require, so how you can up upgrade your Crescent Falchion. You go in here and make a sticky compound longbow. As you'll see, the requirements are to have your compound longbow to a plus three before you're even able to upgrade it to a sticky. Now, sticky bows are scale with dexterity, I know this, but I like the effects of the sticky compound longbow, so that's why I'm going to go with that. It's not necessarily recommended for this character, for you, but if you'd like to go ahead and make one, be my guest, uh, go ahead. Uh, or you could just go ahead and upgrade your uh, compound longbow, or I believe the compound shortbow will also be able to go down the sticky path if it's a plus three as well. So there you go. There's your sticky compound longbow. And more importantly than that, we're going to make what will end up being our endgame weapon, which is a moon Uji Katana. So also bear in mind that certain weapons to upgrade down certain paths. <laughs> Of course, you need all the upgrade materials, but they all need to be at a certain level before he'll even let you upgrade them. So we're going to get the Uji Katana to a plus six. I've got the shards of Sharpstone. i got the large Sharpstone shards. You should be capable of having these items as well. If you are unable to, let me know. I can know you where to pick some of this stuff up, but it should all be accessible to you. So a moon Uji Katana scales with magic. And since this character is going to end up having a magic statistic of 40, if this thing gets beefed up to a plus five, which is my plan, it's going to do some serious damage. Now, Crescent also, you know, goes down the magic path, but it's not as powerful as Moon. Uh, at least in my opinion. Some people tell you Crescent, some people tell you Moon. Again, if you don't want to use the Uji Katana, I say mm -hmm. whatever weapon you gone. prefer. I walked alone. Since this is going to be a magic-based character with a magic stat of 40... I say go down the moon path, because these are extremely powerful weapons. When they are up to a plus five, it scales your magic, and it's going to get really powerful. So, just bear that in mind, I'm going to power up. I've now got my moon Uji Katana, which as I'll slowly but surely go through as we get more shards of Moonlight Stone. And if you need some of the Moonlight Stone shards, you can buy them from that singing lady in the Tower of Latria. You should also have three chunks as of right now after we defeated that black phantom right before the Fool's Idol boss battle. So, anyhow, that's about enough of Blacksmith Ed. Let's go rescue Sage Freck. So, go back to the Tower of Latria. Uh, you should remember where this area was. I, I made it very clear to remember where this was so you can come back here. And we're all we got to do is basically walk over and unlock his cell. Open it up and let him out. I never expected to get out of there alive. My name is Freyk. I am known as a sage. I thought my magic would give me an edge against these demons, but how wrong I was. I have been enfeebled by my long imprisonment. But I can still move my legs, and I can make it back to the Nexus. I thank the stars that I escaped when I did. I owe you my life. All right, fantastic. So from here, he says he can make it back to the Nexus. All you got to do is warp out of here and head back to the Nexus, and you'll see, uh, I'll show you exactly the location of where Sage Freck is going to be hanging out. Now, the thing about him, he's unlike the other magician trainer, because we use the boss demon souls to create magic spells 
hmm. using his talent. I have so. a proposal for you. Could you bring your demon souls to me? As I determine more about the essence of the soul, I can teach you new magic. A demon soul is no mere amalgamation of lesser souls. You have your wits about you. Surely you understand me? Yeah, I understand you. So, he works the same as the other magician trainer, but when you go in to learn a spell, as you can see, these require the souls of boss demons. Now, I really, really, really suggest getting Soul Ray, because the, the doll demon soul doesn't really do anything else besides that, and it's a really powerful spell. It's like Soul Arrow, it's a lot stronger, and it also travels through enemies. So if you've got them lined up, you can take out a whole row of enemies with one clear good shot. So, remember Sage Frick, he's just going to be hanging out there for the rest of the playthrough in the Nexus. So don't aggravate him and don't kill him, and we'll be good to go from there. And finally, how to actually trade items with Sparkly the Crow. Okay, we finally, I had forgotten that an item we already have will work here. And remember that I, I not remember, I will put a link, not a link, in the description of this video, I will put a list down of each and every item we can use to trade with him. And do bear this in mind. Whatever you trade with him, each trade can only be made once. So you can give him one soul remain, like I'm going to do now, and he'll give you that item in return, and that's the only time you can do it. So, from there, like I said, I'll put a, I'll put a list of all items you can trade with him and what he'll give you in return in the link. So what we've got to do is drop this item, and you know what? It's equipped in my inventory, so <laughs> let's get it out of there. Oh, come in here. Just equip something else. Damn it, whatever's there. Okay, get the daggers out, the kunais, and you just want to drop... For this example, one soul remain. That's the reaction you're looking for. If he does not react that way, that he's happy, the shit ain't gonna work. So, after that, just go and load your profile again. Just go in there and load your game back up, load your character back up, and you'll be right back in this area. I believe that respawns the enemies, but we're not really too worried about that right now, are we, guys? I mean, come on now. And you come back over here. And there's the item he has traded with you. So again, in the description of this video, I will put a list of all the items that you can trade with Sparkly the Crow. So head on back to Nexus, guys. I will meet you there. And I hope this informative video helps you a lot in your uh, battles through the world of Demon Souls. Later, guys.